Hello team and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the transpose function in Excel, which can help you switch or rotate cells in your workbook. Looking at this example spreadsheet, I have sales figures for different countries and products. However, I would prefer to have this information organized differently, where column A is instead row 1 as column headers, so that I can filter the remaining information below by country or by product. Using the transpose function in Excel, we can complete this step in just a few moments. First, we'll take a look at the actual transpose function. You can begin by entering transpose into the cell here. And notice the only required argument is the array in your workbook. So I can click and drag my mouse over the data above and click enter. Team, check it out. Our data has been rotated in Excel. We're now country, product, units sold, and gross sales are my column headers. And the data is organized below. Now that my data has been moved, one thing I notice is that for gross sales, this column is not organized in currency. So I'll highlight this data. And on the Home tab, I can click the dollar sign icon to convert this to currency. Now to spot check. Looking here, I can see that Canada's vehicle sales, the units sold, and the gross sales are all matching up. Let's consider a few other important things to remember when we're using this function. You may notice that Excel placed zeros in situations where data wasn't present in the information above. We can tell Excel to include a different value by including the if function within the formula. Heading back to where I entered the formula, I can double click into this cell. I'll enter the if function just to the right of the first parentheses. Then for the logical test, we're gonna ask Excel if any cells in the array above contain a blank space. And to indicate that, we'll enter two quotation marks back to back. After a comma, the value of true, in other words, the value if a blank space is contained, I would like Excel to return NA as a result. For the value of false, if the data contained in the cells is not blank, I want Excel just to return the data that's there. So again, I'll highlight the entire array, enter another parentheses to finish off the function, and click Enter. Now you'll see Excel return the value of NA whenever the information above contained a blank cell. One other important thing to keep in mind is that our data below is still linked to the original data above. Like you saw a moment ago, the formula is still present in the cells. So if I change the units sold for vehicles in Canada to 300, you'll notice that Excel updates that in the section below as well. This also means that I cannot yet delete the data above without having the new data below also be deleted. One easy way to remove this linking is to highlight the data below that I know I want to keep. Click Control C to copy. Right click where I want to begin pasting the data and select Paste as Values. Now you'll notice the formula is gone from these cells and I can continue working with my data and delete the table above. Heading back to the original example for a moment. If you want an even easier way to skip using the function and just rotate your data as a value, you can highlight all of the data contained above, select Control C on your keyboard to copy, right click where you'd like to paste the data and select Paste as Transpose. And team, check it out. Our data has been rotated and we don't have the formula we need to remove. Just keep in mind that this will also carry over any blank information as well. I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.